Hi everyone, and welcome to today's Wednesday webinar. Today we're going to cover tips for trade show follow-ups and best practice for post-market wrap-up. We're going to start by reviewing in context how you can add new companies and buyers met during trade show. Please note if you're an integrated brand, you will need to speak with your customer service or IT team on how to add a new company. If you're not integrated, you can do this by selecting company and add new company. Here you will see that some of the fields are in blue. These are required fields in order to add your company. Um, so first you can add your company name. Select your default currency and default warehouse. You can then scroll down, add new address. And again, fill out the fields in blue. Always ensure that you save changes. Next, once your company has been created, you can select a new company. And on the right hand side here, you can add a new buyer. So here again, you are required to fill any fields that are um, in blue. And also select a sales rep. Again, ensure you save changes. If you have a buyer that is um, that works with the company, you have already set up a new order, what you can do is ensure you are in buyers, add new buyer, and you can select the company name from the drop down list and add information here. Next, we're going to move on to line sheets. Using the season line sheet as an example, you can use line sheets to send to your buyers um, an over and provide them with an overview of the collection that they would have seen during the trade show. You can send these line sheets by selecting send. And then you have a number of options to consider here. You can send line sheets as an easy order, which is a virtual order form for your buyers, who will then be able to place an order directly from the email they, are, they receive. You can include a PDF copy of your order, of the line sheet, and you can also include an Excel. Here you can set an expiration date for your easy order. Here we recommend to add your order closing date. And ship start and ship end can also be set but we'll also, please note, will be populated from your product, what it has been included in your product data. You can send line sheets to contact groups, which we will come back to cover how to set up later on. Your email subject, you can add here. Great to meet. And also use this as a way to connect with your buyers um, or also maybe as a promotional tool. So you could say 10% off for all orders placed before closing date. You can also include here additional message and then also add a campaign name if you wish. You can send yourself a test email to view how um, the email will appear to your buyers or you can save a draft um, so that you can send the campaign at a later date or you can select send. Coming back up to contact groups, this is a great tool to use if you want to um, send blast emails to a group. So how do you create a new contact group? Once you are, this is um, found under campaigns and create a fixed group. Okay, so you can enter your contact group name here. You can say your trade show bias buyers, and then your description for your contact group, buyers met at trade show. And then as you would have already added your buyers to the portal, then you can search them from this list. Once you select your buyer, this will automatically save to your contact group. You can keep your contact group um, private or you can also share with all other brand users on the portal. 
going back to your line sheets. And sending line sheets to a contact group. Here, if you enter the name of the contact group, you can select this and press send. This will send the line sheet to all buyers' emails included in the contact group you have created. Another example I want to cover with you today is how to um, reach out to buyers that you may have met during trade show and who could have shown a particular interest in a certain product. So using this line sheet, we can say dresses. And this buyer was really interested in dresses and jumpsuits. So you want to send them a selection. So you can select the products by ticking the boxes here. And then you could select from actions, add to list. You can create a new list and you can say trade show name or and then dresses, submit. Here, this can be found under custom lists. You can, you can use this and send it in a similar way as you would send your line sheets. And it's, very great, it's a great way to interact with your buyers. And you can also add notes. So you can say, um, as seen in Vogue, or um, available in white. Again, this can be sent in a similar way to how you send your line sheet. The great thing about using contact groups is that when you send emails to a contact group, you create a campaign. So if we go to the campaign, new campaigns. So for the, using this one as an example, if you send a line sheet or a custom list to a group of people, you can then click on your campaign and you can see how many of the emails were delivered how many of the emails were opened, and how many emails were clicked and then opened. So you could use this as a way to follow up with the buyers who you may have met at the trade show and shown a great interest, but then how you can see if they have not yet um, viewed your line sheet. So again, a great way to follow up with them. So next, we're going to review the orders tab. So the orders tab, you can see here that you have your order status and you can filter by order status so you can select easy order. Providing you with an overview of all easy orders, um, draft easy orders created. You can also look at orders that have been submitted by your uh, buyers but um, are waiting to be approved. So if we launch one of these orders into a working order. We can see here your order details, which has populated your buyer information. Here, if we go back to using the example of um, providing a discount for all orders placed before closing date, you can then assign a discount under the order details tab in items and deliveries. You can see all of your items that have been ordered and the quantities placed. And we want to show you this great new feature that we have for allocation summary. So allocation summary can be viewed by both buyer and brand users. And you can choose the different fields that you want to um, view a summary of. Be it department, category, you can add additional summary, additional fields, so season, subcategory, and select view report. Here, you will see a summary of your order, split by the different fields. Using category as an example, you can see how your units have been split between categories. 
Um, you can also see by season or by subcategory. This is a great way to provide your buyers with an overview of their order and to see if maybe they have ordered too much of one style and not enough of another or um, are missing color. It's also a great way for sales rep to review orders before approving an order and um, to see if they want to include any um, further products or if they've ordered um, too little of a certain style. You can also export your report, which will send an Excel um, copy to your inbox. So next, we're gonna go to the reporting feature. So the reporting feature is really great to use during your sales period to keep track of orders being placed um, for the products in your collection. The first report that we're going to look at is total bookings by company, style, color, and size under customer reports. Here, you can further drill down the report by selecting a filter. So using an example, you can select all your orders that are currently draft and um, that, you're, that you need to follow up with your buyers for, or look at all your approved orders. You could also search by color or subcategory. You can also select a date range. To view this report, you can select export, which will send an Excel copy to your inbox. Or you can select run, which will launch a live report on your portal. The next report that I'm going to show you today is the top 20 bestsellers. So this is a great um, report to use to um, see which products um, are performing really well. And again, you can further drill it down to look at it by season or um, across your different retailers or by category. Again, you can set your date range and also you can choose how you wish to view your results. The units sold, total value, number of orders, or just the one. Again, to export, you can send this to your inbox in Excel format or run to launch the live report on the portal. So here, this is going to pull a report of the top 20 best sellers in your collection, meaning that orders have been placed for these styles. But let's, how do we know if a buyer has not placed an order? So we can go back to customer reports and pull an order of who didn't buy the top 20 best sellers. If you want to compare, you can select the same filters and run your report. This is a great report to use if you want to send a follow up to your buyers and say, um, I know you've placed an order for X, Y, and Z, but this is a, this is a, this style is a bestseller and we want to know if you're interested. You could do this by creating a custom list of all the top 20 bestsellers and sending this um, to a group of buyers who have not placed an order for the top 20 bestsellers. So that summarizes everything for today's um, Wednesday webinar. Please let us know if you have any questions and um, or if you have any comments or feedback, um, you can send this to heroes at neworder.com. Thank you very much.